welcome friends to the GIS station channel today we are going to learn how to transform a normal DEM file to a modified Lego type map in QGIS as you can see I have two type of layers one is a raster layer and other one is a vector layer and the raster layer is a normal DEM file and other one is a uh, polygon file which is a grid and we can make this grid into a lego type map in QGIS so without any further ado let's jump into the tutorial welcome back so for creation of this type of lego map first of all you need to add a raster file for the time being we are going to deselect our uh, at present layers and we are going to add a raster a dem file okay that is the full tiles of dem file but uh, we are going to crop the raster crop the dm file because uh, that that is a huge portion and it will take uh, much time to process so we can crop our area of interest interest so so that it will take less time for processing or any other purposes so we are going to crop our data for that you just need to open your processing toolbox if, if you don't have your processing toolbox just go to processing and under that there is option which is called toolbox open it and here is your processing toolbox and just search for clip just search for clip and under the gdal you will find option which is called clip raster by extent select the option i don't know why it's automatically adjusted with the toolbar it's very annoying okay now we are going to clip our raster by uh, this option which is clip raster by extent and today we are going to crop like as photoshop and any other image editing softwares and for that you need to just uh, click this option draw on canvas here you you will allow to to draw your crop portion and okay this portion is okay i think and now click on run it will take some time and you will get your crop raster and let's remove the processing toolbox and layer styling as well so uh, for the time being we are going to delete our main dem file and we will get our new cropped dem file from here just change the file type change the file uh, symbology sorry file symbology and we are going to give a color okay that is our dm file as you can see earlier that is um, this portion i have used and for the tutorial and i have selected this portion so now we have to uh, create a polygonal grid over this cropped uh, dem file for that you just need to go to vectors under that you will find research tool and from here select grid uh, select create grid and from here grid type you have to select this option which is called rectangle polygon and horizontal spacing and vertical spacing it's depend on your raster size your dem size it will depend in my case uh, i think this much distance is good enough which is as you can see uh, that is 400 meters so we can select we can give the value of 400 meters here is the unit and the vertical spacing also 400 meters and click on run sorry something is missing or missing parameters of grid value okay uh, rectangular and uh, you have to click, uh, select area of extent grid extent 
and our extend is our clip raster extended both are extended i am confused uh, and let's change the file name clip raster new and from here select the new one and click on run it will give you a 400 meters by 400 meters polygonal grid on your screen now we are going to extract the dm value from this uh, uh, dm file the raster file to this uh, grid in the uh, in the basis of the raster files the, the the grid file the grids will take the uh, altitude value of this portion and after that we will follow the next steps to extract the dm values from the uh, raster file raster dm file to the grid you need to follow a step which is called which is called journal uh, journal statistic it will help you to extract the uh, dm values from raster to this polygonal cells select the uh, journal statistics and from the raster layer select the clip new option click new layer clips new layer and vector layer uh, is the grid it selects automatically because we have only one vector file and leave it as it is and click on run it will extract it doesn't create a new layer but it's uh, added some attribute to this uh, grid polygon as you can see these underscored attributes are added so we are uh, using this underscored means value open the properties of the grid and from the symbology in the symbology type you need to select and from the symbology type select the graduated and select the value underscored mean and change the color and click on classify and click on apply okay as you can see our grid says uh, near to the our output file and it's it gives you the uh, rico type view and we need to uh, follow some more steps for the uh, uh, finalization of the process now we need to add the uh, circles on every on every cell of this grid so we need to open the properties again under the symbology open the symbol option and from here uh, you just need to add another uh, shape field and change the shape uh, symbol symbol type uh, symbol layer type from shape field to centroid field change the field type uh, fill size to up to 3 and give a shadow give a shadow effect 1 point 0.1 and blur point 0.2 I think I need to increase okay, that is fine set the offset value 135 degree and uh, offset value 35 degree and 0. 0. 0.5 millimeters and blur radius 0. 0.2 millimeters click on ok ok apply and as you can see the the point radius is too high so we need to reduce our point size our marker size ok I think that is ok but I'm going to reduce this further. I'm going to reduce, reduce the size of the centroid point further to 1.5. Maybe it looks fine, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, now we need to add the shadow effect in the polygons. So we need to open the properties again and from here select the advanced option and select the 
symbology level uh, you tick these enable symbology level and change the level level to one two three four and five sorry five click on ok and from here select the shape field main shape field and um, uh, apply the effect which is drop shadow and change the offset to 1 and blur radius to 0.5 I guess it's okay okay apply and you will get the Lico effect Lico effect on your QGIS DEM file so it's a very uh, very uh, good process for visualizing your map to represent your maps in any type of project and you can use this method in any type of uh, maps as well so keep practice keep practicing and also subscribe to my channel and uh, do comment thank you for watching jai hind